The road to hell was paved with good intentions. It's strange how your life can turn on a chance and a choice. How in an instant you can lose those you love. It can take you far away, leaving you with nothing. Only memories and a long ride home. Pick it up! Shoot you dead. You got the wrong man. You got the wrong man. Get up! My name's Lanny Moe. And I'm gonna shoot you dead, Jack Hole. Pick it up! Pick it up! You got the wrong man. My name's not Cole. Pick it up! Thanks for you, Cole. Pick it up. I'm gonna shoot you dead.
Get out of here! Sorry to find out that you two boys have had such a colorful past. You've been right pleasant company. Don't that count for nothing? Pretty not, boy. We confiscated your horses and your property. Still gotten gains. Don't think we won't find your partner, neither. Who'd you say you sent out after our third man, Sheriff? My best deputy. He's a good man. Crack shot. Smartest dang horse I've ever seen. Go find your man. It was like our man found him first. days ago. Took my water, my clothes, my food, and my horse. I quit. birthday. Sleep well. Not Sheriff Bowman. Good night, Daniel. Many happy returns of the day. You must be very proud of him. Oh, you know I am. I was it's wondering... A lovely... I I'm sorry. <laughs> it's I was a just... lovely... <laughs> <laughs> You know, I don't know why this seems so strange. Um, maybe it's this. I don't dress up very much anymore. Well, you should. You belong in grand ballrooms with music and dancing. always have the memory of the husband you lost, and I promise I will never be jealous of that memory, but... Oh, Laura. You would do me the greatest honor of my life if you would consent to... if you would be willing... Oh, Laura, uh, uh... What? You deserve something. Someone who, who, would, who, would, who would restore you to your rightful place, the ballrooms, the mansions. You deserve to be dressed in silk every day of your life. This looks a little impractical on a farm, Hank. On a farm, you don't need a silk purse from a sow's ear. You need the sow. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that the way it sounded. I... No, 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 no. I, I love your humor. <sighs> I love you. Yes, you'll marry me. <laughs> yes, Henry Handel Bowman III. I will marry you. Say that again. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you're <gasps> exactly what I'm talking about.
I may be gone a few days. I have to meet with the state marshal. Politics. I need to speak with Daniel anyway. Will you walk me to the barn? <laughs> I think not. I fear you will make me forget myself, sir. What? What is it? It's the light, the way it caresses your face. I'm envious of the light. playing preacher in the pulpit while we walked home. And then, just because I knew more verses than he did, Joe said I was a sissy preacher boy. Well, did your friend Tom speak up for you? Said Joe could use a little Bible learning. Well, maybe you should tell Joe how Pastor Calhoun used to let you sweep up after church for extra money. Joe said the Bible's for sissies. I punched him in the nose. Well, I'm sure you have a friend for life. Daniel? Sheriff Bowman. <gasps> He's bleeding bad, Ma. What do we do? Let me get him to the house. Look at his holster, Ma. He's Jack Cole. Para nostra, quies in calis, sanctifator nomen tuum, adventnia regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua sicut in calo et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum, da nomes hodi, et dimite nobis de vita nostra. Sicut en nos dimite nos dignumus de non nostris, et ne nos inducis in den tentanium. Celebra nos a mano. Amen. In nomine Patri, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Father, comfort the Moat family, and receive Matthew as you did Lanny, and David, and Joel. You were right, little brother. We are all arrogant fools. But why? Why couldn't you wait for me? Rest in peace, dear Matthew. I'll find him. I'll find your killer. And Cole will pay. This is such a sorry place. Lucas, you're well again, my friend. Your family must come together now to rebuild. Rebuild what? Family? The heart of my family lies buried right there. All my brothers. And now Matthew. Dear Matthew. Matthew's gone, Lucas. Let it go. Taking another man's life won't bring him back. An eye for an eye, Thaddeus. Forgive and you shall be forgiven. I don't need to be forgiven. I haven't done anything, yet. Everyone needs forgiveness, Lucas. Everyone. I gave the horse some oats. This is my son, Daniel. I'm Laura Fowler. 
I've had a fever for two days now. I don't know how much you remember. I remember. Your horse probably saved your life bringing you here. You must have covered some distance. Your clothes were covered in blood and your hat's nowhere to be found. Damn, I... Sorry, ma'am. Uh, it was a new hat. I just bought it two days ago. I thank you for helping me. Daniel, put a pillow behind Mr. Cole while I get him some broth. Yes, Ma. Excuse me, Mr. Cole. I know who you are. My friend's got a storybook of gunfighters. You're famous, Mr. Cole. Famous isn't much good if you're dead. Here, hold this. Who shot you? I don't know. I, I, I didn't get to see him. How do you know it was a man? Ma doesn't think much of gunfighters, Mr. Cole. Call me Jack. Oh, no, sir. Ma taught me to respect my elves. Besides, she'd skin me alive. So, Daniel, where's your pa? My pa's dead. Sorry. No need. He died when I was a little baby. Ma doesn't talk about him much. Ma says you'll be wanting to leave as soon as you're well. Could you teach me to shoot before you go? You shouldn't be up and about yet. Break open that wound and you'll only slow down your healing. Verse 25, that's right. Then, <laughs> never forget. Satan knows every word of the Bible. But, Ma. Daniel, it's not what you know. It's what you do with what you know that determines what kind of man you are. I fixed your shirt. I did the best I could with the blood, but nothing will wash away some stains. The blood of Jesus washes white as snow. Revelation 7, 14. Sorry, Ma. Call me when you're dressed. I'll put breakfast on. Sorry, ma'am. I didn't mean to startle you. It's a fine day. Yes. Oh, excuse me. Is there something I can help you with? Oh, yes, ma'am. I hope so. I'm a deputy from Tenue County, about 100 miles north of here. Been on the trail of a man by the name of Jack Cole. Came across this hat up the road a piece. It uh, looks just like the one he was wearing last time I saw him. When was that? Back in ten, you month ago. Oh, I see. Ma, I want to. Daniel, we have a guest. This is Deputy. Hart. 
Deputy Hart, this is my son, Daniel. How old are you, boy? Eight, sir. Go big for your age. Yes, sir. Moss is a take after my pa. Uh, Deputy Hart is looking for an outlaw, Daniel. A man by the name of Cole. You seen him? No. But Cedar Creek's 20 miles north, and Logan's only five miles east. If he came down this road, I'm sure he was headed to one or the other. Uh, won't you stay to breakfast? It may take some time, as I haven't lit the stove yet, but... Thanks just the same, ma'am, but... I could see when I rode up you weren't looking for company this morning. Besides, my business is pressing. Can't wait too long. I understand. Daniel, I don't know who that man was. But one thing's certain, he's no deputy. He had a badge. He also had a hat that he couldn't have seen a month ago if Mr. Cole only bought it two days before he came here. Here's I'm in your debt again. I don't want you in my debt. All I want from you, Mr. Cole, is that you get well and get gone as fast as is humanly possible. Too long get no supplies. You hear? All right, Pop. you letting anyone in after closing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean it. OK. Oh, we just closed. Can you come back tomorrow? Well, I I, I wouldn't mind, but uh, my pa hates to wait. Do you think we could get a few supplies? We'd be much obliged. Well, I don't know your pa, but my wife will kill me if I let anybody in after we're closed. But if you have a list, I'll bring you out what you need. Ah, uh, flour, sugar, jerky, tobacco, coffee, chicory? You and your pa must have spent some time in the South. I don't know anybody this far west who carries chicory. If you meet me by the side door, I'll be out in a minute. Arthur! Arthur! Arthur, answer me when I'm talking to you! Arthur, what are you doing? Nothing, Miriam. I'm just picking up a few things. Well, don't be long. Supper's in five minutes. There you are. I'd rather dip, but Pa hates spitting. How much do I owe you? Well, without chicory, it's five, ten, twenty, a dollar and two bits. Hey, I'm sorry I couldn't have you come in, you know, but my wife has been nervous as a cat since that gunslinger came to town a couple of weeks ago. A gunslinger? Yeah, some blamed fool called him out. Well, what happened? Well, he actually outdrew him, but he only managed to put a hole in his hat. For his trouble, he got a hole in his head. The, the gunslinger? No, he got a new hat. I sold it to him myself. 
You know, Jack Cole, he's very famous around these parts. My wife can't get over it. I mean, we haven't had this much excitement in Cedar Creek since, uh... Well, never. Here you go. Well, thanks. I'm much obliged. You're welcome. Come back again and see the store. I'm talking to the gunslinger. You scared him off, Miriam. I'll put the tools in the shed. Milk best before utter bursts. Tell Mr. Cole if he's up to it. He can light the stove. It'll save me time. Yes, Ma. Ma, you know what? I think old Sally Cat's gone and had a litter up in the hayloft. Daniel, do your chores, wash up for supper, and stay out of the hayloft. Yes, Ma. Mr. Cole, mm -hmm. you feel up to lighting the stove? Oh, yeah, I, I think I can handle that. You want to take care of these? Yes, sir. Laura? Don't you dare use my given name. You gonna stab me with that? This would be something less than you deserve. Laura, I'm sorry. You know, sorry doesn't change anything. I was doing what I thought was best. You left. You didn't even send me word. You started a new life, remarried, had Daniel. I've only been married once. You're the one who's changed your name, not me. What are you saying? I waited the whole night. I had flowers and candles, and I cooked a special meal just so I could tell you. We had twins, Jack. Twin boys. Daniel's brother died at birth, and I never got to tell you. It's you I thought was dead. It's been eight years, Mr. Cole, or whatever you choose to call yourself. I've been faithful. How about you? You'd be happy. I am not here of it. Mother, please. He's a pauper. Why, he's nothing but a dirt farmer. I'm sorry, sir. So was my grandfather and his father. And what would you know of it? You, you've been raised like a princess. You've never lifted your hand to anything harder than pouring tea. Maybe it's the Irish in me trying to get up. <laughs> Don't you mock me, my fine girl. Jack loves me, Mother. And I love him. I forbid you to marry. If it was up to you, I'd never marry. Think of your social standing, as your father would have wanted. And all you ever loved him, my father was his money. That'll do. Father loved you. He gave up his position in society. Stop he it! He didn't care about it, and neither do I. That'll do! If you do this, you will never get a penny from me. I'll disown you. Goodbye, Mother. Laura. Laura! You'll never have anything. You'll scratch and bleed for every morsel you put in your mouth. She's wrong. We'll have each other. Each other. Each other. Thank you. 
you look quiet at supper tonight. Ma says children should be seen, not heard. Hadn't stopped you since I've been here. Mr. Cole, how is it you became a gunfighter? I mean, why? Not by choice. Were you always? What about before? Daniel people can make some terrible mistakes. Some years back, I shot and killed a man. Because he wouldn't believe I wasn't who he thought I was. He fired first, so I had no other choice. But now his family wants me dead, and they've hunted me for over eight years. What about your family? They haven't known about my family. I haven't known about my family. Don't you miss them? With all my heart. Why don't you just go home, Mr. Cole? Killing's a sinful thing. After killing all those men, I'm not sure they'd want me back. Hatred stirs up dissension, but love covers over all wrongs. Proverbs 10, verse 12. Time just sort of complicates things. to me, Jack. I thought you wanted to talk. You always were very literal, you know that? Mm -hmm. Have you missed your beard? I had to shave half of it to talk to your face. <laughs> You looked a bit confused. <laughs> I've sure missed your smile. I know I should have been here for you. Was it me? Did I do something? Was that why? Did I do something? Did I? Did I? Did I do something? I was afraid for you. There were men trying to kill me. It appears they still are. care what Pa says. You can't find somebody that doesn't want to be found. Well, he doesn't know we're looking for him. But just the same, the only word we've had of him was from that storekeep. And he hadn't seen him in near two weeks. Where are we supposed to look? He could have gone anywhere. Kyle! Caleb, get a move on! Yeah, Pa. <clears throat> pa? We've been hunting for this coal person now for two months. How much longer are we going to look? Sit down, boys. Caleb, this coal is not a person. He's an animal, a vicious animal. And it's best to destroy that vicious animal before it destroys you. Paul, this man is a gunfighter. 
He killed Uncle Matthew and, and, and David and Lanny and Joel and that other fellow in the last town. Shot him through the head. God knows how many other men he... Watch your mouth, boy. God knows how many, and coal will pay. Them as live by the sword will die by the sword. That's what the old proverb says. <laughs> oh, Ma said the same thing about us before we left. Well, if Ma doesn't know everything, bless her. Pa, I'm no coward, but I'm no fool, neither. I can't outdraw a gunfighter. Me neither, Pa. I don't fancy having a hole in my head. Now, you boys listen to me. I learned a few things from the war, and I see things pretty clear now. This is not a fight between gentlemen. This is not a, a feud between families. We are merely exterminating the vermin that destroy the lives of decent people. Oh, Pa, how can you say that? All this started because Cousin Lanny called him out. Now, that's enough. Lanny was a crazy drunk, you know that. How about that time he set fire to the barn, or the time that he tried to drown that I little said that's enough! <laughs> Lanny was not the only one to die. Don't ever forget that. I still don't see how we can outdraw him, Pa. Uh. Sometimes you boys can be pretty dense. Look, if we're hunting a man, we'd be honor-bound to give him a chance to defend himself, right? Right. Right, Paul. Now, Kyle, supposing you come across a bear, are you going to let it defend itself or are you going to shoot it? I'd shoot it, Paul. Ah. And Caleb, supposing you got cornered by some mountain lion, are you going to dance with it or are you going to shoot it? Shoot it, of course. And you needn't worry about drawing against some gunfighter. This beast has killed more men than any mountain lion or bear. And we will hunt him down like the animal he is. And when we find him, we will kill him. Wednesday. Mrs. Fowler, you look beautiful as ever. <laughs> Thank you, Hank. I'm always at my best when I'm doing laundry. Only you could make such a mundane task appear as poetry. <laughs> and people say chivalry is dead. Did you really miss me? You've been here for supper every Wednesday for two years. <clears throat> of course, we missed you. Sheriff sure, Bowman, Ma, look! She's the runt. I found her down in the stall. Oh, Sally Cat must have kicked her out. Well, she doesn't appear to be hurt. I'm not going to let her die, are we, Ma? Oh, Daniel, she's awfully young. Her eyes aren't even open yet. I don't know if she'll make it without her mother. Can't we try? You know, Daniel, sometimes nature knows best. Besides, I don't know what we're going to do with all these kittens. Daniel, if you can save that kid, I will take her off your hands. Can I, Mom? May I? I need a good mouser at the office anyway. The prisoners are starting to complain, especially at night. May I? Take her inside, wrap her in one of my dish towels. I have an old shoe box under the bed. You can put her in that. I'll give her a warm milk to it when I come in. Well, go on, get out of here. <laughs> Such a good mother. Now, where were we? Ah, oh, yes. You miss me. Mr. Cole, look. Ma said we could try and save her. Sheriff Bowman said he'd take her if we did. Save her, I mean. Here, I will get the box. Who is Sheriff Bowman? He's the sheriff in Logan. Two years ago, when we came here, he helped us find this place. 
race. He's been really good to us. He even let me ride on Silk. That's his horse. He's usually here every Wednesday for supper, and he's always doing special things to help Ma. Ma had to sell almost everything we own so we could pay our debts and move out here and start fresh. Ma says Sheriff Bowman's a godsend. I think the sheriff's just sweet on Ma. That's so. That's really all I know. <clears throat> Do you want him to stay with you? I don't even know who he is now. All I do know is I'm... I'm married. Laura, he left you. I made a promise. Laura. Don't, Hank. The fact is... I'm not a widow. Isn't that ironic? It's supposed to be something that makes a person happy. Laura, do you think he'll leave you again? This isn't about what he does. It's about what I do. You know how I feel about you. It just makes no difference to me. It makes a difference to me. What kind of man are you to come crawling back into a woman's life after abandoning her? You know nothing about me except that she's my wife. What kind of man does that make you? Stop. Don't do this, please. You compromise my honor and hers. So let's just finish this late, gentlemen. You mistake me, sir. Or didn't Laura tell you? I'm no gentleman. my life, and I will be the one to decide what to do with it. I'm going to go to Cedar Creek, and I'm going to telegraph the state marshal's office. You said yourself you don't know who he is anymore. I'll find out if he's lying to you. Laura. I want you to keep this. At least until we find out who he really is. Oh, Hank. You have to understand. I made a vow. I would have no honor worth defending if my word meant nothing. What about his honor? His vow? If I'd made my promise to you, would you want me to be saying anything different? If your promise had been made to me, I wouldn't have left you. fight with Joe the other day, and now we're friends. You think that you and Sheriff Bowen could... I don't think so, Daniel. 
thought you'd be staying. You got well, I mean. You, you shouldn't get your heart set on things. Then you'll see your family. I don't really have a family. You don't really want a family, do you? Tell your mom I said thanks for everything. Tell yourself! God, please, let her be all right, please. No, no, Oh, wait, Laura, wait, 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 it's me, Jack. Laura. Jack, oh, God. Oh, he hurt me. Oh. Who did this to you? It's the deputy. Heart. Oh, he grabbed me, and, and, and I started screaming. He grabbed my throat, and then he, he hit me, and... My, my, my hair, my hair, oh, he, right. he hurt me. Jack, he's crazy. He said he was going to kill you, and then he'd be Jack Cole. Well, we'll be ready for him. Where's Daniel? Turkey? No, I suppose not. <laughs> you like stories, boy? When I was a boy, I loved stories. I decided a long time ago that my life was not going to be ordinary. I said to myself, Abel Hart, you're a gunfighter. You can pull a gun about as fast as anybody that I know. But you know what the problem is? What's the name? Abel Hart. Did you shoot the horses, Abel? Did you do your chores, Abel? Shovel the manure, Abel! See, what I needed was a man. Jack Cole. Oh, now there's a name for a gunfighter. Jack Cole. 
made it up out of my own mind, and everything was going just fine. When this marshal up and throws me in jail for murder. I spent the last eight years behind bars. <laughs> eight years, and I'm more famous now than I was before. <laughs> Jack Cole's no murderer. He only draws when he's drawn on. He's a good man. <laughs> he's a saint. You can call me Saint Jack! You see, there's just no room for two Jack Cole. I find live bait work much better when you're trying to catch something. You left. Who? Mr. Cole. You're really Jack Cole. But I mean... You mean you're Paul? Didn't think anybody knew, did you, son? Wasn't that a touching moment in the barn? Pretty little thing, your ma. I especially love her hair. <laughs> Do you think that she would love me more if I shaved? Bend the heart, mama! Or what? Don't go away. Sign of him? I looked every place you told me. He's not there. Oh, God. I have to go find him. Wait, wait now. What good's it gonna do for both of us to be riding around in the dark? I know you're right. Why didn't you ever post these? I started to a thousand times, but I was afraid you'd try and find me, put yourself in harm's way. Like Daniel? He'll be all right, Laura. But you need to stay here just in case he comes home. Just in case. I've still got a rifle. Stay inside and keep the door bolted till I get back. Be careful. before that somebody comes back. Paul, what is this? 
I do believe that beast is not far off. Bring him up here. Hank! Hi, Arthur. What are you doing back here? Didn't think I'd see you for some time. I need to wire the sheriff in Tenue County and the state marshal as well. All right. The way you talk when you laugh, I thought you'd be asking that Laura to take your caucus, for better or for worse. You're lucky you found me working this late, but you know Miriam. She's more nervous than a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. <laughs> What's the message? Urgent. Need all available information on Deputy Hart, Tenue County, plus any warrants on one Jack Cole. Jack Cole? Mm-hmm. Well, it's a little late in the day, but I'll do my best. I'll wait. Logan? Yep. Sheriff inside? Sheriff sure ain't here. Uh, he went off to use the telegraph. Where's your telegraph office? Got no telegraph in Logan. Uh, nearest one's in uh, Cedar Creek. Cedar Creek? Is he gonna be back tonight? Nope. You'd have to ride a horse half to death to do that. It's for a piece. You tell him Laura Fowler was attacked. Her son's missing. Man who did it's still out there. You might want to warn as many people as you can in this town. Lock their doors and stay inside till he's found. Well, thank you, sir. That I will. Plum tuckered out. Eh, uh, that beast must have kept him tied up for some time. Pa, anybody could have tied up that boy. Oh. Yeah, it didn't have to be Cole. Maybe he's got a cousin like Lanny. Hey, 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 what is that? Here, here, here. Let me go! Come here, son. We're not gonna hurt you, boy. How did I get here? Well, Caleb, he found you tied up like a steer. He cut you loose. Yeah. Thanks. Who did this to you, son? A man. He said he was a deputy, but Mama didn't believe him. Mama! Mama! He might have hurt Mama! Wait a minute, wait a minute, son. Does this belong to your Ma? Huh? Can you tell me where that man is now? I think he went after my pa. Is he coming back here for you? I think so. He said he wanted to use me as bait. Bait? Yes, sir. Can I go home now? Tell me one thing, son. If he isn't a deputy, then who is he? I don't know, sir. But he calls himself Jack Cole.
Deputy Hart! What do you want? Laura, do I need a reason to see my best girl? Go away. <laughs> Go away! <laughs> Some really pretty things upstairs, Laura. Have you noticed how quiet it is down here? All the men folks seem to have run off and left the poor little Laura. <laughs> have you done something different with your hair? <laughs> I have this problem, Laura. I really want to kill your husband. But, but here's the sad part. I can't kill somebody who's not here. Now, if you will oblige me. Oh, and you will oblige me, won't you, Laura? You go find that lazy, good-for-nothing husband here. And you tell him, come set up. I want to see him outside. <laughs> Jack Cole is calling out. Jack Cole. <laughs> the barn, Laura. You do as I told you, and I'll give your boy back to you in one piece. Daniel? <laughs> Somebody finally heard me. They woke up the operator, and he went to the sheriff of Penu, talked to him, he's gonna get back to me. You think you're gonna reach the state marshal's office by morning? Well, it's hard to wake people up in the middle of the night at best, but I'm gonna try. How's the leg? Hank, we've known each other long enough to know you're not interested in my leg. I'm interested. For the past two years, every time we talk, you talked only about Laura and Daniel, but you haven't mentioned them once since you've been here. I want to know what happened. Well, Arthur, I've never wanted to just kill a man, but how do you kill a ghost?
thought I told you not to go away. When I tell you to do something, I expect you to do it! Do we have an understanding now, boy? Because next time, I'll just kill you. Good. Your ma would be very disappointed in your lack of obedience. We have got to get out of here. And we'll find Daniel. And we'll just leave. We'll, we'll go someplace where we're safe. There is no such place. We're not talking about a broken pump handle here, Jack. This man wants to kill us. You think I don't know that? What do you think I've been doing all these years? Running, hiding, and always being found. I convinced myself I was sparing you all of this, but I hadn't spared you anything. All I did was rob you and Daniel, my son. Sheriff was right. I don't know what kind of man I am. The kind I've missed. The kind you could forgive? <laughs> well, well, what have we got here? <laughs> What's that? Who are you? Jack Cole! <laughs> it's a sign. He stole my name! But now, I got his hat. Oh. And I've got his gun. And I got his boy. And I got his house. This is not his house. Oh, I forgot. You don't know your pa. He deserted you and your are mom. <laughs> Guess we got something in common after all. <laughs> Go, boy. Shut up! She's one smart lady there, Hank. She knew he wasn't what he said he was. Hope she don't get to discover what he is. Well. One of the three men who broke out of the state penitentiary killed a 12-year-old boy. I guess her not-so-dead husband may have told the truth. Yeah, well, don't expect me to weep if he gets killed. All I've got to do is make sure that Laura and Daniel are safe. All right, send that reply to the marshal and tell him his third man is found. Hank. Thanks, Arthur. I'll be in touch. Pa, how much longer are we going to be out here? It ain't worth it, Pa. It was a good idea figuring he'd come here after the boy, but Cole ain't cooperating. Cole's right, Pa. It'll be set up soon, and we've been out here most of the night. And that skunk's managed to get away again. Why don't you keep shouting, boys? Even if he was deaf, I doubt very much if he'd be blind, too. We're standing out here in the open. I guess you boys are right. If you meant to come back for the boy, to come back by now. Caleb? I know, Paul. Get the horses. Uh, we've wasted a lot of time. If we don't catch up with him today, we never will. Paul, does that mean we'll be heading home soon? No, son. Not today. Uh. 
Let vengeance be mine. Let vengeance be mine today. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. <laughs> She loves me not. <laughs> she loves me. Stop here, Sil. Come on. Sil. Okay. Sil. We can't stop here. Come on. Come on, Sil. like that without a reason. Battle's coming, boys. I can smell it. Understand obedience any better than you do. I'm all have to teach her a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Daniel. I'm uh, very disappointed in you, Mrs. Fowler. Where is that thieving good for nothing husband of yours who do I to start taking pieces off your boy? No, no, please. No, I, I came ahead of him. He's, he's coming. I, I just came to ask where Daniel was. <laughs> As you can see, we become rather attached. I see that you are armed, Laura. Is that purely decorative, or do you entertain thoughts of using it? 
Now let me see. You've got Mr. Fowler's rifle, and I've got his gun that would leave him effectively unarmed. Isn't that right, Mr. Fowler? May I call you Jack? Does anybody know who this man is? I'm Jack Fowler. That's my son you're holding. And who are you? Well, without sounding too much like an echo, I'm Jack Cole. Jack! A name that I might have is purely wasted on the likes of you. Let the boy go and we'll settle this like men. What? Brave words from a man with no boots. Then again, dead men don't wear boots, do they? Please, Mr. Cole. Can't you just forgive? It's not too late for you. Nobody wants your self-righteous salvation. Preacher boy, I hold all the cards. What good's one hand if you lose the whole game? That's very touching. You're so concerned about me. I can't draw against you with no gun. Let him go! Drop the gun, Laura. I'll drop you where you stand. Ah, ah. This is something that I have wanted to do for a very long time. Pick it up! Pick it up! Pick it up! Pick it up! No more! Oh! Oh! Jack! Wasn't it? It was Cole. You got him. He did everyone a favor. We got him, boys. We got him. Uh, your ma's gonna be awful upset with me for letting you two make your way home alone. You can't die, Paul. Don't die, please. You gotta hang on, Pa. There ain't even a priest to hear your confession. I don't know what to do. Does anyone know what to do? I do. Do you repent of your sins in front of God and man? Yes. Paul. And rest in peace. For in the Bible, God himself says, you are forgiven.
Not every man gets a second chance. You know. I want to thank you for what you said out there. You gave me a second chance. No, this is not my doing. And that really was Jack Cole. Now, all you got to do is make sure you treat Laura and Daniel right. Because if the chances had been left to me, you wouldn't have had this one. Mrs. Fowler, beautiful as ever. I hope you forgive me, but I took the liberty of writing you a small note. I almost asked you to marry me a year ago. Do you remember that? Yes. If I had asked you then, would you be staying with me now? of the light. My heart is weary Can't get no sleep If it help I'd pray my soul to keep I'm haunted by a ghost of the past I'd beg for mercy but I'm afraid to ask It's a long road home It's hard to go back when you've been gone when all you got is a great unknown Makes for a long road home I think of you most all the time The memories weigh upon my mind Wonder if you think of me, Lord, what I'd give for used to be. It's a long road home. It's hard to go back when you've been gone. When all you got is a great. Yeah. 